Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, look at that. That's me, Mazelle knows. Guess where I is? Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, there's a picture. There's a picture of me in Washington, D.C. This me in the front of the White House. Okay? This is the entrance where they let the tourists come in. The reason I am on the stairs taking the picture is because they had a emergency situation. This was like just after 9-11, a few months after 9-11. I went to Washington to do poetry and I was just making a visit this day to the White House and boy you should see just like I was in the movies. This a last quick picture. Just before I jump in the taxi, I was the last one to get out of Dodge. You know how behemoths go. <laughs> we ain't never scared. We, I was so excited. I, I, I forgot I had the two children with me. I was so excited because guess what? I wasn't excited to go to the, wash, the, 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 the White House like that. I was excited that while I was to the White House, a situation happened and they was rushing all the tourists out. Everyone, they was moving... The police was actually moving you fast, 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 and they get you to this level, then they leave you because the taxi right there. The taxi is right there waiting on me. Man, you should see all them black helicopters coming out the air. Man, you should see all them people running with guns. I was like, damn, I feel like I was on a movie set, but this was real life, baby. This was real life, baby. This was real life, baby. This was real life. Look here. I always pray all the time, all the time. I pray for every little thing. I am telling you people, no matter how with the lifestyle you live, I pray for every little thing. I prayed before I went on the plane. I pray after I come off the plane. I prayed because, you know, it was after 9-11 and they did bomb up the Pentagon down that way. And I been there to see that and all. But this particular area here, man with all them guns and things man in no second all you see is lone black helicopters coming down and lone people like police running and with all they guns them big guns drawn running 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 in the white house and they the other people running us the other side but the guns running us running us out the white house getting us out of the way i was the last taxi to leave the taxi had the door open my two children was already in the taxi and the cab driver take this picture for me quick picture because i i couldn't come back the next day i was on stage i was on stage because i went to do poetry so i couldn't come back the next day you know and look here i say drama 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 <laughs> i always say everywhere i go drama 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 i just gotta pray i don't i don't create the drama let's get that great because you know some of y'all so negative and I, that's why I don't like negative people. I stay far from them. When I see people negative, I don't want nothing to do with you. I am sorry to say it. I don't care how you look. I don't care who you think you is. I don't care what position you hold. I don't want nothing to do with you. I stay far from you. And I can't have you in my personal life or my personal cycle. I don't want nothing to do with you. That's me. That's me. Okay? I don't want that around me. And so some of y'all are negative. Let me tell you something. I don't never cross the drama. Never. I is a person who have too much goals and too much things I would like to do. Anytime you've been to dead door, the way I have been to dead door, and God have given you this chance at life. That's why I was involved in so many things. That's why I did so many things. Hello, somebody. Because people don't understand. Life is for living, not sitting on the sideline. Because you as a Christian, you can't dance. Because you're a Christian can't drink. Jesus turned water into wine, baby. And you're supposed to live. Life is for living. Life is for living. But you live your life clean. That's all it is. Life is for living. Boy, in this situation, I felt like I was on a movie set. And that's what has fooled us. Because we so, from this side of the country, we, have, we would never see something the way I saw what took place this day. We will never see a real situation play out the way I saw it play out this day because that shows we still a peaceful country. We still a very peaceful country. 
Because let me tell you something. You imagine a big area just full of helicopters coming down. And, and you can count the, the police and teens running, but they, they didn't even have the signs say police. They are on black and black and low full gear running with that big gun and thing. We never seen nothing like that unless it's in the movies. That's why I thought it was in the movies. I was taking it lightly. I was taking it lightly. Mind you, I've been in plenty of gunshots and shootouts and stuff before. I can tell you about that in my book. In my book, I'll tell you about that. But this was, oh, I, it was so exciting to give you something to talk about for you for the rest of your life. I was like, gee, I was caught up in. I don't know what. It was a threat on the White House. I guarantee that. And whatever took place, child, they had to usher us out that day. They had to usher us out that day. I was like, wow. My children was even excited. They was like, mommy, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see the cops? I said, yes, baby. That's why I do taxi drive. Make sure y'all was in the taxi. And everybody had to be running, including me. And you know, I said, but I had to get my, my picture. Because people won't believe I've been to the White House. They won't believe I've been to the White House. Okay? They won't believe that. So, you know, some picture speaks a thousand words. This is the White House in Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes. Take that. Hey, hey. Take that. Yes. Over and out.